For I know the thoughts. This is the Lord speaking. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. Sister Tanya. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. To give you future and a hope. You're going to receive a double portion. Not only are you going to receive future, but you're going to have hope in that future. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And I want you to look at your neighbor and say, no, neighbor, neighbor. The, subject the subject this afternoon is the hope of glory, the hope of glory. Has, come has come that you may have, you may have hope, for hope for tomorrow. Come on, put your hands together. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. In a nutshell, it's hope for tomorrow. Amen. Hope for tomorrow. Yes. Praise God. Well, everything might be chaos in our lives on this afternoon. I come to let you know that Jesus said that you can have hope for tomorrow. Yes. Amen. Yes. Regardless of what you left at home or on a job, that's all right. God has given you hope for tomorrow. Yes. He said that the future is going to be better because he has given you hope for tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't care what the past said, but God said he has given you an expected future. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, God. You're getting ready to receive the blessing that God has thought up for you. The enemy might have been messing with the past, but that's all right. The past is behind you. This is what the Lord is saying, and you're getting ready to walk in the future. Hallelujah. You don't have to dwell in the past any longer. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, God. Bless your name, God. Bless your name. You need to share the past on this afternoon. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, God. You need to look back and say, past, you no longer exist. Because I got an expected future. Hallelujah. And in that future, I got hope for tomorrow. Hallelujah. Come on, stand to your feet. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's something to shout about. That's something to shout about. God said you got hope. I don't care what you went through on this afternoon. God said that's in the past. You're getting ready to walk in the future. You're getting ready to walk in the blessing. You're getting ready to walk in the abundance. You're getting ready to walk in your healing. You're getting ready to walk in your deliverance. Why? Because God has said he had given you an expected future. Oh, my God. My God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, my, my God. My God. You need to hold your head up. And you need to put a smile on your face. Because God has got good things in store for you. Hallelujah. He can ready to bless you like never before. I want you to turn to your neighbor. And I want you to speak a word of encouragement. As a matter of fact, I want you to prophesy right now. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. God said he getting ready to give you an expected future. Hallelujah. You didn't know you was a 
a prophet, did you? We got some prophets in the house on this evening. Hallelujah. Oh, my, 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 my. You walking in the prophetic right now. Hallelujah. Because you are calling those things that are not as though they were. You are speaking it into existence right now. What you going to say? My husband will be saved. My wife will be saved. My children will be saved. My body will be healed. High blood pressure, you got to go. Hallelujah. Because I'm getting ready to walk into my extended future. And I can't be weighed down by high blood pressure. I can't be weighed down by diabetes. I can't be weighed down by trials and tribulations of this world. Hallelujah. My God be free. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, my God. My God, my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. How many want to be free on this evening? Hallelujah. Come on, just raise your hand in there. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. Do you feel a praise on the inside right now? I don't know about you, but I feel a praise down on the inside. Somebody said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he had done for me, when I look back and see where he had brought me from, I can't help myself but say, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Let me see it. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Let me tell you a little something. Praise God. I read in your hearing about Jeremiah and how Jeremiah, let me tell you a little something about Jeremiah. Yes. Jeremiah had a special calling upon his life. Yes. In his mother's womb, he was ordained. Yes. Amen. Amen. To be a prophet. Amen. He came from the priestly home. Yes. His family was priests. Yes. But one thing about God had ordained Jeremiah for even a greater word. Yes. To carry on the prophetic line. Yes. Jeremiah was a man, praise God, that was not accepted by the people. Because he taught the word of God. Amen. And not only did he teach the word of God, but he lived by example. Amen. And there was a time when the people, of, uh, the children of Israel were, had wanted to do their own thing. And they had began to just get out there and start doing their own thing. But because they were God people, God loved them so much. Or because of the promise that he had given to Abraham, yes. that covenant relationship. That he had established with Abraham. How many know that God has established a covenant relationship with you on this afternoon? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And he sealed it with his son's blood on Calvary. Yeah. But Jeremiah, Jeremiah had began to go in and he had began to preach unto the people and to tell them about what they were doing wrong. Yeah. And the people got upset. And, and the king and all of them, they didn't like what Jeremiah was saying. So what they did was they went and found them some, 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 some fake prophets.